Let's face it, you've had your PlayStation for quite a few years now, and after thousands of hours of putting up with you, you haven't even had the concern to ask yourself, my PlayStation does a lot for me, what can I do for it? Today, I'm going to be showing you an easy trick to boost and get better performance increase from your PlayStation console. So follow along with this video before your PlayStation leaves you for someone else. Okay, so your PlayStation has probably been on for about 28 hours at this point, so why don't you do it a favor and turn it off. Ah ah ah, not rest mode, turn it off completely. Okay, now we're gonna turn it back on, but instead of just quickly pressing the button, you're gonna need to hold it down for about 10 to 15 seconds. You should hear one beep indicating that the PlayStation has been turned on, and a second beep after five to 10 seconds indicating that the PlayStation is entering safe mode. All right, we're in safe mode now, and all you need to do is connect your PlayStation 4 controller to the USB cable, and then just simply press the PlayStation button. All right, now we're gonna drop down to number five, which is rebuild database, which is simply a way to defrag the PlayStation. So at this point, all we need to do is press OK. And it does say it may take a few hours to rebuild, but I generally find it only takes a couple minutes. And don't worry, this won't affect your games or save files or anything like that, it's just simply reorganizing everything. As you can see guys, it only took a little bit over a minute to rebuild the database. Alright, and there you have it guys, the PlayStation has been defragged and it should run a lot smoother. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch where I post tons of gaming content. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.